Good morning guys, welcome to today's video. Today's video involves the first installment of crate training Gabby's new puppy. You should put her food in there so she can eat. That is such a good idea. Now she'd spill it all. Over. No, it is, it is a good idea because she's still not eating very well. I'll explain. But yeah, this is happening. It's funny how fast they learn to chew the bars. Ruby's like, what is happening? <laughs> Ruby feels like us. <laughs> She's really happy to sleep with that Goodbye. today it's nice out eh good morning guys welcome to today's video today's video features a perfect night's sleep I slept so well I slept so well did you sleep my belly you have a belly ache it's hungry yeah well this is what happens I ate in that Christmas chocolate you should have woke up at the crack of dawn and had breakfast before our horses needed us I barely woke up now I know so this is the thing that's why I can't let you sleep stay up late last night last night Sophie came to me with all her friends on her computer and said let Sophie stay up and I was like no this is why we actually should be getting up at seven o'clock to get down here to feed our horses. I got to stay up for two whole minutes. Yeah, which turned into 20 minutes. She doesn't know what two minutes is. Two minutes is when you count to 60 two times. Oh. That's not long. Anyway, we're all suffering this morning though because it's hard getting up. This is the hardest part of having horses. It's the getting up and going out. Like, we See, need Olivia to- Olivia stays up till 2 a.m. What? Olivia stays up till 2 a.m. And what time does she wake up? Uh, like 10. Yeah, exactly. No, 11. Yeah, exactly. Or two. But we have school and we have horses. And that's the, like getting up, coming down, and doing all this physical activity before you're awake sucks. Like that's the hardest part of horses. But what's good is that our horses are all have had their feet done and they all have had the chiropractor. So we're ready to ride today. We're ready to ride. Are you ready to ride? <laughs> Gabby's like, <laughs> I think Gabby's in uh, puppy withdrawal. Like it's a lot. Like that's all she's done for two days. And this is how she is in the morning. She said. But, yeah. I'm the one that's supposed to be tired. I played with her all day yesterday. Well, Gabby had that puppy all day, 24/7. So did she sleep good last night in your bed? So we are. Is she what? Wanted to play. She wanted to play. Did you grab? Ah. Her? That ended at like 11.30 p.m. And then she wanted to play again at like 7. Yeah, so at 7 you should have got up and taken her pee. That's too tired. Yeah, but, eat my yeah, but you have to do it anyway. That's a part of being a mom. I'll be a mom. Sophie, I can't even wake you I up. I will stop complaining if I have a puppy. You are not responsible for that. Yeah, like I'm telling you, Sophie doesn't even wake up when I wake her up. She's still like she's yeah, no, you're, you're not ready. Asleep. Even I'm not ready. I value my sleep too much. It's supposed to rain. We're gonna eat. Once we eat, we'll be much better. I don't know. On the weekends we just kinda like don't do as much horse stuff and just kind of relax more. Yeah, horses so take I up all your time. Hey, bro, don't you look at that? I said, my friend, what you looking at? She is something for me Excuse me, miss It's my first time here Maybe you can show me out of here I think she got something in me So please forgive my Rudeness if I'm tripping over your time But you look so amazing <laughs> I wasn't expecting that 
I am not gonna lie, we are dead this morning. We got nothing. And we can be so much more than All right, this is the test. Let's see if Miss Molly stopped crying in her crate. Oh, she's yelling the house down. Yelling the house down. Don't take her out if she's crying. Take her out quick, she's quiet. Aw, good girl. One of the things that mom and dogs do for their babies at the very end of the last couple of weeks is socialize them. Uh, that's why it's such a good idea to let the mom and dog keep the babies until around eight weeks because that's such an important step. Luckily, if you have other dogs, they tend to help do that too. So hopefully our dogs will step up to the plate and tell her off a few times. If Gabby ever lets her down, puts her down, lets her interact with anybody else, that is. All right, we have done our reading time. This is the book that we're reading. This is the last book that we're reading until um, the end of school. It's pretty big. It'll take us a while. Sylvie thinks it's completely boring. Do you think it's boring, Gabby? It is really boring. I forgot. I read this when I was, when Gabby was a baby, I think. Anyway, it starts out really boring, apparently. I don't remember it being that boring, but it was bo it is boring right now. But it gets so good. It's. I think it's probably one of the best books I've ever read in my entire life. Today's supposed to be like 13 degrees outside. Really nice. We're probably going to take off the horse's blankets. Um, but, yeah, Gracie's laying down right there by the fence. Um, but... It was supposed to pour rain, so I don't know what's happening. It is actually sunny out, so I can't wait. Can't wait. We're gonna go down. We're gonna ride our horses today. Got me saying, hey, girl, will you marry me? Two kids and a house and live happily. I think we are so meant to be. But she says, wait, you forgot something. Every good thing comes to an end. At least it always happened to me. That was the cutest thing I ever saw. Gabby had to take a break from homeschool and take her puppy for a walk. Like, it's just like, it reminds me of when my kids were little and I used to take them for a walk and they used to toddle along. Like, so cute. So, we're still just finishing up school. The craziest thing happened. Like, we're changing so much with this puppy. Like, we, like, we used to be really strict dog owners. Like, we crate trained. We were like, we're so crazy. This is our new normal school routine. So, we got the girls is sitting here we got our dogs underneath and then over there she found her own little spot oh what she's been terrorizing Toby all day like running around chasing him she's just a tiny bit taller than him and he's not like afraid of her and she never jump jumps on him or anything but he's like nervous of her he just walks away anyways she's laying there and he was in the kitchen all of a sudden he wanted to get by her and he was nervous all of a sudden I hear the pitter patter of tiny chihuahua feet and then all of a sudden I look over and he jumped over top of her entire body. Just went zoom right over top of her body. She sat up, looked at him, and there he is. He got in the in the living room, in the dining room with us. Don't do it, don't do it. <laughs> She's a jumper. We got a jumper. I'm telling you this now. You don't need to worry, cause I got this all down. And we get all together. And we Aren't you cold? It's hot. It's nice out, but it's not hot. Here, give me that, I'll carry that. Lunch time for the boys, and then we're gonna do something fun with them. Guys, look at, do you guys see it? Do you guys see what I see? A fly. Uh-oh, shoot, I missed it. A fly on Finn. There's the first fly of the season, Finny. It is. He's like, why'd you smack me? It's a baby. Oh, crap. That's the worst thing when you smack your horse to get rid of a fly. Look at that. Hair is falling off him. Get away, fly. Shoe fly. Oh, man. If you see it, smack it. We need a fly spotter. Put them in there. Yeah, he likes it. He likes to lick all that stuff in there. His favorite. Storm keeps shaking his head. And I 
see a bunch of little bugs all around him. Not the biting kind, just like the annoying ones that fly around you. Is it time for a fly mask for me? The micro bugs. Micro bugs. Yeah, a little micro bugs. I've Puppy for Molly to meet the boys. I feel like Chino's gonna be the most surprised one. I think Storm's gonna take it the hardest. No. We're in love, baby. We're in love. It's a baby. Be careful. He's snorting. He's smelling. Oh, he's not that happy. It's a puppy. He doesn't care. No. Ruby, will she now treat it like a What is Ruby doing in here? She shouldn't be in here. Be nice. Nice. It's a puppy. Good boy. You want to kiss it? Good boy. Uh, who cares? <laughs> First pony ride. Don't do it. First pony ride. Don't do it. First pony ride. What's on my back? <laughs> Good boy. It's okay. Good boy. having a puppy, do you feel like she's been harder than you thought she'd be, or easier? Easy. Easy. I think she's easier easy too. Than what I thought. Mm -hmm. like, yeah. Because you're like, she's gonna have to sleep, then go out, then eat, then go out, then. She does. Like you do, but you're finding it. You're finding it easy to do that. Yeah. So has she had any accidents at the 48-hour mark? Only one. Right. And what was the reason? I was going to cook food. <laughs> she just, Gabby chose food over the puppy. Basically, uh, Molly, um, Molly was sleeping on the floor while they were doing schoolwork, and Gabby went to cook some food, and she got up. So anytime a baby wakes up, the first thing they do is... I don't like children. And <laughs> first time a puppy, as soon as a puppy wakes up, the first thing they do is... Oh, she tried to eat a rock. Okay. She uh, went full four, she went... <laughs> into she rock. goes full fade. Full four. Hay is she not for puppies. Sat down, and I went full force and they're all like. She's been super easy, like way easier than every other puppy we've ever had, I feel like. So, yeah. So I called about her shots. I just have to wait and see because obviously lockdown. Uh, vets are still doing shots and vet care. Um, so I'll see, hopefully we'll get her in. I definitely worry about having a puppy without them having their shots and she needs to be dewormed. Can anyone guess what is behind door number one? Willow, Chris Grace is not there. Boop. Willow, Chris Grace is not there. Oh. <laughs> See, it's gonna be puppy. Did the uh, ponies meet the puppy? No. No. This is glorious. <laughs> right. You're in the way. Oh, I do not like to go between these. Gracie decides to. Mm. Watch out, Ruby. All right, girls are grooming the ponies. I'm babysitting. Every time Gabby walks away, she cries. Even though I'm here with her, she cries. I also noticed that her white is not so white now. It's getting dark, getting dirty. You're getting to be a farm dog. You're getting to be a dirty farm dog. Gabby brushed her today. Have a nap. This is not your time. We have to spend time with the horses too. This is the pony time. Got me saying, hey. You marry me Two kids in a house and live happily I think we are so meant to be But she says Wait, you forgot
forgot something Every good thing comes to an end At least it always happened to me I'm telling you this now You don't need to worry Cause I got this all down And we'll get all together And we We are doing our Monday grooming. This is the day that we make sure everything's good after we haven't ridden for a couple of days. We do all the shedding. Don't shed my horse. I know, my kids are like crazy. They don't like yeah, any. because we brush them all, and then she sheds them, then we have to rebrush them. We'll shed them first then. All right, Stormy. Yeah. You ready for me? I always hate like grooming them and stuff after we've had like two days off because it's like they aren't as as human like they they've they've regressed in their training they're a little bit more wild than normal not that they're wild they're not wild we didn't no. train oh. them to be nice to us oh yes he's like yes do it we're fighting over who gets to pick off the scabs do you guys do that do you know, like it's kind of satisfying picking off their scabs well, you got to do it before um you have to the wait for starts growing so it doesn't rip off the hair as well. I know, but if it's gonna bleed, I don't pick it until it's completely dry. All right, honestly, you guys, we need to take a, a time management course. I mean, she needs to take a time management course. That was what's in the bottom. Okay, but when you have horses sitting here, ready to go, and I have supper to cook, it's not the time to clean your tack box. So comfy. Sophie loves her saddle so much. She thinks Finn loves that saddle too because it was made specially for him. We should take it up and groom, or not groom it, we should take it up and oil it and do Here, everything for it. it oh, Gabby's doing dressage today. Um, will you, it's nice to see you home from work. Will you sit and watch them ride while I go cook supper? Got me saying, hey girl, will you marry me? Two kids in a house and live happily. I think we are so meant to be. You forgot something Every good thing comes to an end At least it always happened to me I'm telling you this now You don't need to worry Cause I got this all 